Today I'm going to share with you how I restyle some of my most worn clothing. Not surprisingly, some of my most worn pieces are also my favorite, which I love to wear again and again, but there always comes to a point where I start to feel things are a little bit repetitive. So today I'm going to get some Pinterest inspo and use some general style hacks to update these pieces in new outfits that I haven't really worn before. Before we get started, throughout this video, I am styling pieces that I have styled many times before and that I've had in my wardrobe for quite some time, if not many years. So things like knitwear I've had in my wardrobe for a few years, things like this pair of cream trousers I've styled many, many, many times before, as well as my plaid blazer and my brown coat from Mango. These are just a few examples. If you've been on my channel before, there are a lot of pieces here that you will be very, very familiar with from past videos. One of the things that I have just been obsessed with is using a sweater as a scarf because there are all sorts of ties and tricks that you can do, which just makes your wardrobe feel so much more versatile. For my outfits, I'm especially inspired by these two photos, which I'll have up on the screen, where they've matched their scarf sweater to the actual sweater they are wearing. We get this really cool tonal look, which I think looks very chic and intentional. I recreate this look in my wardrobe with two grey sweaters. I'm wearing the chunkier version and then I use the lighter one just to wrap around me as a scarf. Literally just over my shoulders and then I wrap the arm around. Once you have it around, I put my coat on and you can't see the back of the sweater at all. I actually don't mind at all if you can see the back of the sweater over your shoulders but if you don't like that then the coat just covers it all up anyway. Another scarf trick and this one isn't from the photos, this one I learned from how Hannah Yu on her Instagram account where she basically like puts her head into the sweater. It's gonna look so weird because I have this really chunky knit inside and then once she's here she ties the two sides together and you basically just get another scarf variation. If this looks quite messy to you, when you put on your coat you really can't see it. All you see is basically the two ties and I feel like scarves aren't meant to be super super neat so I quite like this trick as well. I think it's very functional and keeps me feeling very warm. If you're already on my channel, you might know that I like to show you outfits that I like but maybe I'm not 100% happy with because then I can show you the tweaks that I make to get an outfit I really like. So I feel like the jeans with the sweater and the boots is quite a chunky and bulky kind of look. Everything is quite wide and structured or chunky so we do get quite a lot of bulk. So in the next outfit, I change out the jeans for a skirt instead and it just adds a little bit more balance to the look. We've got the chunkiness on the top but now we've got something softer on the bottom and I think that it feels a bit more flattering this way. In the next outfit, I'm tying the sweater in a way that's similar to the Pinterest photos. So I kind of fold down the top and then I put the sweater on kind of sideways and do the tie at the side. Once again, bulky sweater underneath, but you get the idea where you kind of have something draping across one arm. You can obviously go for different colors, but I do also love the tonal option because it almost makes the top and like shawl thing look like one piece. You can tell I'm a big fan of this trick because I show you a few more combinations, this time with a pair of plaid pants. With the two grey sweaters and then the two black sweaters, I've had some of these for three to four years in my wardrobe, so it's really exciting to be able to re-wear them in a new way. I wanted to mention here that the black boots that you see me wear, as well as the burgundy boots, these are both from D. Francis. So they're currently doing a 25% off sale. This video is not sponsored by them, I'm just sharing with you um, some sales as I go. This boot is the spirit boot and I enjoy this because it's it's got a nice heel to it and this is a very specific shoe I think for those of you who enjoy wearing a heel. Whereas this is more of an everyday shoe that I think will suit a lot more people because it's a comfortable shoe. It is flat, um, you got the lace up details, it's a very soft leather and it's a very light shoe. These are both very light shoes. I cannot stand when the chunkier shoe weighs like a kilogram and you're just like dragging them along. This is super light, which makes it quite comfortable. My next set of outfits are inspired by this photo, which I'll put up on the screen, where she's got on this really beautiful silk skirt, and then a lot of structure on the top with the turtleneck as well as the jacket. The inspo I'm taking from this photo is the idea of something really structured mixed with something very fluid. My first outfit is pretty similar to the inspo I would say in terms of the colors as well as pretty much having the same skirt. I'm wearing a navy silk slip skirt. Because I don't have a structured short jacket, I decided to go for a sweater instead. It may not be the most dramatic or structured but I think next to the silk it does still provide a little bit of subtle contrast. The bag is definitely quite a structured shape 
shape and then with the shoes they're a little bit chunkier which just falls into that structured family for the sake of sharing some extra looks with you I also wear it with the red bag so this bag is from APC you guys might recognize it if you've been here for a while I think I got it three four years ago and it's been in my collection since in the next few outfits I'm still loosely inspired by that original photo so sometimes I think about how to wear chunkier shoes and my favorite way is always to wear it with something more fluid so in this case the shoe almost acts as my structured piece and then I've got the fluid trousers and I think these two things balance each other out really well when I'm not wearing these fluid trousers I love to wear it with a midi skirt for the very same reason that skirts usually have a bit of drape and movement to them which contrasts the boots so if you have a chunkier piece in your wardrobe and you're wondering how to style it this can be a really good idea to apply the weather is crazy in Sydney today it's gloomy it's rainy and I feel like it's gotten very dark and I hope you guys can still see okay something I really love in my wardrobe are silk scarves but the thing is that sometimes I do struggle to style it even though I love them so much when I tie it around my neck like right on my neck sometimes it can feel a little bit too polished and feminine and classic for me so I'm always looking at how I can use my silk scarves in different ways I think a great way to do things if your silk scarf is a little bit bigger not huge but a little bit bigger than the standard squares what you can do is actually basically tuck one side of it I think into like a bra strap or like a singlet strap like this you basically just tuck it under and then you can kind of let it just hang on one side creating like a almost asymmetrical look so in this next outfit I'm just using the silk scarf as one more element of that drape I show you one more variation of this look this time going for a lighter color palette I go for some beige and cream tones instead and with the scarf you can wear it kind of thrown around over your shoulder it will fall down all the time if you don't have a coat but if you have a coat it kind of secures it in place so it stops that problem if you have a larger scarf so something longer it will obviously be better for this but it does work if you have a jacket or coat on let's move on to my third inspiration photo I was trying to break down what it is about this outfit that I love because honestly um, there's not that many details for me what it was was that she's got a monochrome base and then she uses very intentional pops of color to make this outfit feel exciting I'm gonna keep the explanations here really short because it's pretty obvious what I'm doing I start with a monochromatic base and something very very simple I then decided to use my Acne Musubi bag because it's kind of similar to the brown bag that she uses in the color. With brown, you may know if you watch my videos that I really love to wear blue and brown together. This color combination is just one of my favorites. So I wanted this color, but I also didn't want to wear it as a sweater. So I thought I would go back to the good old scarf trick. I basically unbuttoned the knit and you can basically just wrap it around like this. It might look crazy when you don't have a coat on, but when you put the coat on, I really think that no one can tell that it's a sweater and not a scarf and if they can tell I think it's kind of cool because you're really using what you have and being creative in that sense with your clothes which is exciting which is fun so I wear the scarf with the bag and I love these two pops of color in this monochrome base for a subtle change I go for an all cream outfit on the inside and then I use the red bag with the blue scarf and another combination that is super easy but I think it works quite nicely this next outfit is a very simple one but just not one that I wear a lot I'm wearing an all black Black outfit with a green bag I generally don't like wearing all black but I do think that it's a very good option when you want to look put together and chic going for an all black outfit or an all neutral outfit and then having one intentional pop of color I feel like always looks good always looks chic finally in the last outfit we're so loosely based on the original but we've got on a black outfit with a white bag so this forms my black and white base and then I put on my plaid coat from Petit Studio and that's my statement piece even though the colors in this are all neutral it's got a khaki, it's got a grey, it's got a navy and it does bring some colour into this look which is otherwise just monochrome. For many years now, I've really been able to appreciate a minimalist look. But the issue is that sometimes when I recreate these looks, I don't feel 100%. I don't feel as chic as the photos look. And today I thought I'll share with you some of the reasons why in the past I couldn't quite recreate it. With all three outfits I'm sharing with you, I think that there are little details where I didn't get right, so the outfit didn't feel as chic. In the first photo, I'm thinking about the texture on the knit as well as the cuff on the pants. The fact that she's got a sock and a loafer is also a little bit of styling that makes the outfit feel chic as opposed to just simple. In the second look, she's got a coordinated top and cardigan thing going on, so that feels stylish. It's not just, you know, any 
tank top she found and cardigan it feels very styled and then she's also got a belt on to cinch things in adding a little bit of detail to the look in the last outfit she's got the v-neck the ribbing on the knit obviously some really luxurious accessories but even on the boot she's got that crisscrossing and these little details that take it from kind of simple to more chic so here's me trying again now with these outfits i put on this taupe colored knit this is not minimal because the back of it is actually blue but we're just going to pretend the back is also taupe because I really like the texture on this knit and then I tuck it into a pair of black trousers I do a belt adding more detail and then for the shoe instead of just doing a plain boot which I love obviously I decided to do a sock into a loafer Mary Jane kind of thing the reason I went for this shoe combination instead of just a plain boot is to add more detail and to create the feeling of this outfit being styled it's so simple but it does look like you've styled something as opposed to just wearing knit trousers boot so instead of the black pants I then swap out the black for a pair of cream pants but I show you side by side the sock and shoe combination versus the boot combination I like both of these but I do think that the sock and shoe combination looks a bit more detailed and if I was wearing a very simple look I would really appreciate that level of detail my shoe is very specific just because I actually don't own a black loafer but you could definitely do like a black sock into a black loafer it would be very subtle and just providing that little bit of detail my last three very is based on that third photo from before because I noticed that the girl had a barrel leg jean so I reached for mine again and she's also got a bit of detail on her knitwear which I also did in this outfit my outfits don't look ultra minimalist because I have a tendency to prefer things that are not ultra minimalist but I think the idea applies where if you're gonna go for very very simple things the ribbing the texture you know the belt the socks, the shoes, these little things actually are just so important in getting it right. My final inspiration are micro patterns, which I think just look so cozy and lovely in the autumn winter season. I'm gonna show you how to recreate this depending on what you own in your wardrobe. My very first look is with this coat again. I realized actually for the first time that this coat has a little bit of khaki in it, like a warmer khaki tone. So I decided to sell this coat with a pair of khaki trousers, which I normally don't. I also have a navy knit, which perfectly matches is the inside of the coat and I kind of had a bit of fun playing with the colors on this coat. This is my recreation of an outfit that I saw with a plaid coat. I happen to have the coat so this is a really easy way to do it. The plaid coat is obviously such a specific item so another way to do it is just to wear the plaid somewhere else. I think you get a very very similar effect whether you have the plaid on the coat versus if you had it in the pants. This is a pair of neutral plaid pants from End of a Stories and at the end of the day, I feel like this gives off the same vibe where it's cozy, it's got that detail, even if it's not exactly the same look. If you're looking to closely recreate a look on Pinterest and you don't have the pieces, you can just rotate it so you put the plaid in the pants, you put the color in the coat, etc, etc. I feel like I'm pushing it a little bit here because this is a linen top, which is better for that transitional season, but but because it's plaid, I wanted to style it into this outfit. I wanted to keep that cozy, warmer tone. So I style it with my tan pants and then the brown coat. I keep the piece quite open just to make it a little bit more subtle. Make it feel like it's more of an accent rather than like a statement piece on top. So that will be my next outfit. And then finally, to finish things off, we've got this plaid blazer. Once again, this is a very subtle piece. But if you do have a plaid blazer, you can basically recreate this look very easily. Putting the plaid in the blazer as opposed to to the coat. I decided to style it with browns and warmer tones because it's what the original inspo was giving me. It felt very cozy, whereas if I started with grey, I feel like it would be a little bit more cold. So yeah, went for the browns. Those were all the outfits I wanted to share with you today. Throughout this video, I styled some of my most worn pieces, but every time I look at inspo photo, I can always think of a new way to wear it. So I really encourage you, if you're stuck with your wardrobe, to go onto Pinterest, go onto Instagram, and save those inspo photos. I know that if I'm standing in front of my wardrobe, I can feel very stuck on ideas, whereas when you look online and recreate from there, the possibilities do feel endless. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found something helpful. If if you enjoyed it, I would love for you to go hit the like button down below and I'll see you next week. Bye!